Well, I'm a matter of fact, it's Mars, and uh, Keith Olbermann has just gone way over the line this time. Uh, his usual, his rants that he's had all along have been one thing. I put up with his rants and listened to his idiocy, but now he's gone way overboard. He's calling for foreign governments to help overthrow the United States government. You can't do that. No matter what your uh, political bent is, you cannot do that. That is a crime. I don't know who this powder, powdered wig society is, but they're right. Uh... This guy should be hauled away in handcuffs. Keith, or maybe a straitjacket. Keith Olbermann is a sad, sick joke. He is also a certified moron. And now Olbermann is a traitor, definition below. Watching and listening to the snowflakes great wailing and gnashing teeth over Donald Trump's election as president of the United States was fun at first. Then it got boring. Now it's pissing off every patriot from the sh sea to shining sea. Overman is now beseeching foreign governments across the globe to overthrow President Trump by coming forward with damaging information they have on him. Yo, Keith, uh, come here real close while I'm screaming this in your ear. There's no damaging information, or it would have come out already. Just in the present, Trump has finally get tough with the traitors like Oldman. One well, must understand the delicate position Trump is in. He's reluctant to go after this traitor for fear he'll be labeled a tyrant bent on removing enemies. Well, you shouldn't let that, uh, President Trump, you shouldn't let that prevent you from enforcing the law. This is actually a pretty simple case. Sorry about this. Uh, this uh, site is not very good. It's bouncing around. It's giving me all sorts of grief. So, I'm going to take you. I'm going to show you the uh, YouTube site. A video on YouTube site. Uh, we need the help of intel agencies around the world. Resistance with Keith, Keith Olbermann. Just a headline right there. Ah. Uh, this proof that this dirtbag needs to be locked up in a mental hospital or a jail cell, depending on your point of view. I say lock him up in a jail cell, but that's just me. Here's some of the comments. Keith, you really need to escape your echo chamber? Really, you are calling on foreign governments to kill Donald Trump? Do you know you are committing treason as a U.S. citizen? So now the left is begging Russia to interfere in U.S. elections. You people have flipped. No values. Death Fiesta Obama was a foreign enemy. With that in mind, all China supporters were, all Obama supporters were concluding with foreign enemy to subvert American democracy. This is the definition of treason. Not only are you wantonly ignorant buffoon who actually believes the garbage you're spewing, you should be locked away for this. I know I'll be reporting it. Uh, so will I. Uh, folks, we need to get on GQ and give them a ration of you-know-what, because, uh, you can't do this. He should be in handcuffs right now. You cannot call on foreign governments to overthrow your own government. That's called treason. They're right. That powdered wig society, despite the fact that their site was giving my computer uh, fits, they're absolutely right. You cannot do that. He needs to be locked up in, in a jail cell, in my opinion, and need to get on... You know, get on the phone to your congressman and say, hey, this is cross the line. Law enforcement, why is he not in a jail cell right now? Oh, this is disgusting.
uh, yeah, I know I'll call up my congressman, and I'll get some buffoon who doesn't know, doesn't understand the concept of treason or anything. They get some real winners in there. You try talking to them, they don't know anything about current events. Democrat or Republican, same thing. All right. Uh, that's about it for now. I don't know whether I'm going to use the mental disorder liberalism update on this one or American Sandinistas. As a matter of fact, some thanks for watching.